I don't think you guys know what you're getting into. You might want to get out of there, little chicky. That's not a good place to be. <laughs> oh, you guys are stupid. What are you doing down there in the poop hole? Hey, I think them chickens must have been smelling sweet corn or something. I got a hold of my guy. He's going to come out and pump the septic tank out tomorrow mid-morning. About every two years I like to have that done because... I don't know, maybe it don't do any good, but I don't know, always seems, it's nice out right now, but it always seems when you have trouble with something like this, 30 below wind chill and snowballs hitting in your ass. It's going to be another nice day tomorrow, just like today, 50 degrees, no wind, and that ground ain't frozen either, ain't nothing I hate worse than digging through frozen ground. Well, anyways, hey, you want to see what my poop looks like? Oh, no, I, I wouldn't do that. Come on, give me a little credit, would you? Doggone it. <laughs> I ain't that crude. Well, so much for that crappy subject. Still got a little kindling to carry in. Last night's project. Hi, matey. Don't fall. Huh. Suppose that's a euphemism. Uh, I'd rearrange the furniture down here in our little hideout down here. Wife's recliner had always sat over here up close to the old stove. And, well, since I got this new stove installed, it's just too damn hot. I'll tell you what. Them Norwegians, they know how to build a wood stove. I got quite a little bit of learning how to use it yet. Oh, I'm gonna sit down a minute. I make some cigarettes anyways. But ain't nothing good on that thing. I tell you what, that, I wasn't burning it properly for the first couple weeks I had it kind of burning it like I used to at our old stove and after two three weeks I checked the stove pipe and then the masonry chimney and I was getting some creosote build up already well hell that's not good so went back and read the instructions turns out I was just burning it too cold that thing is made to put out heat, I guess. And I started burning it the way it's supposed to. Man, it gets hot down here. I'm not going to have any problems heating this whole house with this thing this winter, even though it's in the basement with no vents or nothing. But yeah, boy, that thing is, that cranks out the heat. Well, that's all I got to say. I better get back to doing something. Have a good one. Well, there. Even though it's too warm in here, I got a fire lit. I got to figure out how to operate this thing properly. It's uh, quite a learning curve. You're not used to one of these airtight stoves. That sucker does put out the heat, though. They say uh, it doesn't operate right until the surface temperature of that stove is 400 to 600 degrees. Tell you what, I'm going to be cooking some soup this winter. I just hope I get it figured out so I don't have a big creosote problem in the chimney. I. I'm not afraid to go up there and clean it once a month, but they say these are supposed to be pretty clean burning, so I gotta figure out how to operate it right. If anybody's got any tips, let me know. I use some of that witch's brew stuff they sell, but you're supposed to 
them sticks you're supposed to throw in there to help with the creosote. I don't know if that helps or if it just makes a guy feel better, but still use that. Use that with the old stove, even though I didn't, wouldn't have needed to. That was kind of an open fireplace type deal. But I guess I'll just keep burning it as they tell me to and check it out in two more weeks, see what happens. I hope this works out. I got a lot of money stuck into this damn thing. And it will heat this little house, that's for damn sure I found that out. <laughs>